Hello, I'm going to show you how to make these paper sunflowers. They are so easy and they're pretty much just made from strips of paper. So, shall I show you what you're going to need? All right. Well, I'm making some flowers, but obviously you can choose different colors and make a different type of flower. But you're gonna need four strips of paper. They are the length of an A4 piece of paper and they're two centimeters wide. You also need a paper straw or some kind of stick, some glue, some sellotape, and a brown circle for your middle. But obviously you can choose a different color if you're not making some flowers. Okay, I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. You start with your strips of paper and you're going to put them all on top of each other like this, okay? And you don't have to be too careful with this, but it's, it's just to give you a guideline. You're gonna fold them in half so the ends are together and you're gonna make a crease at the fold. So you'll end up with sort of like a little crease line on your strips of paper and they'll all be in the same place like that. Okay, so separate them again. And now we're gonna get a bit sticky because we're gonna get some glue and we're gonna blob some glue on that crease line like this blob. And then we're going to put another strip on top of it. So we started with a vertical line. Now we've got a horizontal line. Next, we need to go diagonal across that crease area like that. If you're doing this with me, you'll probably be getting sticky about now. Another blob of glue, and there is our final strip of paper. Right, it looks a bit like a star at the moment, not much like a flower, but it will start to take shape very soon. Okay, back with the glue in the middle. You're gonna blob some more, and starting with that vertical uh, strip, you're going to put the two ends into the middle and hold that for a couple of seconds just while it glues another blob of glue and then across with your horizontal strip like that. Okay, you can see it all taking shape now, can't you? Okay, another blob of glue right in the center. Be careful it, the glue doesn't take your strip away. Mine did. Now I've got really sticky. Okay, so diagonal strips across like that and then one more blob of glue in the middle there and then we can get our last two petals across. Okay, nearly done. Put those across. Press quite firmly here because you're putting all the uh, petals down but those are done. So we're going to pop our glue away just for a few minutes and I'll tell you about the middle. But that's what it sort of looks like. That's what your flower looks like at the moment. So it's sort of gone from being flat to quite 3D. So now for our central part of our flower. I'm making a sunflower, like I said, uh, so I'm using brown and I drew round blathers there because it was it sort of seemed to be the right sort of size. This is um, a spice jar lid and that was a good size for my flower too. But depending on your flower, depends on how big you want your middle to be. So just draw around something round that you think would work. Okay, putting plenty of glue on that middle section there because you don't want this to come off. So if we put that on carefully, try not to get any stickier than we already are. Okay, that blobs in the middle. I keep saying blobs, don't I? Okay, so push that down gently because you don't want to flatten your flower. Now, we need to put on our stem. Now you can put it down a petal like that or you can put it in between petals. I think that looks nice, but it's entirely up to you. That's how you can make your special. So just take a strip of your sellotape or washi tape. I'm using washi tape, but it really doesn't matter. And just attach that on like that. And would you believe it? That is it. That is how you can make a paper flower. And they look really good once you've made a few. So why not make a bunch? You could put something special in that centre point, maybe a photograph or a picture, um, or you could put a message or something, couldn't you? But they do look fab and so easy. Why don't you make some? Mm -hmm. 